couple days ago, Pocket Wizard re released the uh, beta software for their Mini TT1 Flex TT5 system, version 6.021. Um, it mainly added features for the Siconic uh, Pocket Wizard module that they came out with to, to do Control TL uh, compatibility. Um, even though I don't have the Siconic light meter with the Pocket Wizard module, I went ahead and updated my my TT1, TT5s because they added some other bug fixes. But one thing I noticed is that the TT1 system, or the AC3 rather, transmits its uh, power control data faster to your remote strobes when using the TT1 slash TT5 on, with an AC3. Um, before it, it took a long time, you know, it took a few seconds for it to send the power, con you know, the power settings from your AC3 to the remote strobe because you would constantly have to half press your shutter uh, button on your camera to send the, the information over. But now it's a bit more instantaneous. So as you can see, I have my TT1 turned on, AC3 is on top. I'm gonna go ahead. Um, I'm on zone A, so let me activate my zone A on the T AC3. I'm currently indexed at zero, which is gonna be, I guess, a one eighth hour. I'll go ahead and drop it all the way down. If you notice, the meter uh, was pretty much reacting instantaneous to the actions on the AC3 knob. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the knob. And notice I didn't have to hit the test button on my TT1, or you know, which would simulate the half press, half shutter button press on my camera. So you notice the tracking is very, very much uh, improved as far as response time. Um, I really like this, so I highly suggest you guys go ahead and update your uh, TT1s and TT5s if you use the AC3 zone controller because you're going to get a little bit more. Uh, improved performance as far as the AC3 is concerned. But yeah, I just wanted to show that off as far as my findings with the new beta software.